in this um, this hole, right? We were already finding out things about layers, weren't we? Mm -hmm. I know I was as the, as the uh, thing went through. So there's no need to do this slowly, right? The more time you spend here, the less you have to spend skiing around and looking like a real patroller. Yep. Because we all know that all they do is ski around and, and mm -hmm. uh, have a good time. Get in, brush firmly. If we had been gone to ground, what would the temperature expectation be down there? Zero. Zero. Well, they're pretty close to it, yeah. Do you find that in practice? That it's pretty it is pretty close to it, yeah. Sometimes if you've got large cup crystals growing down there, yeah. it's um, colder. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe if you laid it right on the ground, you get zero. But it's one of these conventions like saying that the slush and water is sure. at zero. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, that's good enough field experience. Maybe if you measure it with something super accurate, you can find it was actually a little bit above or below. So, we, is everyone in a place where they can sort of see what we've got here? This is where the stick is going to come in hand. It's a flat light like this. It's really hard to see what we've got. These sticks, these cross sticks, don't count. Do your brushing close enough to the here to be able to see exactly where it is on the, the measuring stick. I haven't been able to pull any other layers out of here yet. What do you think if there were soft, thin layers in here, what do you think my doing this would, would do to the end? You wouldn't notice it. I'd never notice it. That'd be gone. So this pulls out harder layers pretty good, and it'll pull out large large soft layers like this one and you'll see them but you will not see thin soft layers mm -hmm. and some thin soft layers are quite reactive in our snowpack and surface war is one of them might only be one or two millimeters thick but you could have stuff running on that and I know that somewhere in here we uh, maybe on here the, I was popping blocks off really quick and easy so we'll uh, be looking for that as well so we didn't really get to use a lot of sticks here it's a nice snowpack if you got this one for your assessment it'd be probably pretty easy and short get in easily under the hour so we <laughs> how I would describe this is we have a surface crust right? probably a wind crust yep. and I'll get to how I put that out soon and then we have uh, 10 uh, we have almost 15 so say 12 centimeters of uh, four finger snow and then we have 20 centimetres, so this might be, sorry, 10, 20, 25 centimetres of loose coal, forefinger, and this would be described as pencil. pencil. Alright, so if I had a pencil, you'd see the pencil go into it like that. Then there's another thin layer here, which is probably half my hand, so 5 centimetres. You need to get right in there to find out what that is. About now you're probably thinking to yourself, uh, well, I've got a friend of mine has got a good way of evening all that out. And put your finger against your nose and push. When it hurts, stop. That's one finger. Four fingers. This. Yep, that's the pressure you should be working with. Most people's cartilage can stand about the same amount of pain, so it seems to work pretty well for him. Alright, so what I would do is at the top of my profile, can I have borrow someone's book again and I'll write it up. I'm taking gloves on and off here so I can do this, but you would normally in the profile have them on all the time. We're looking at this page now because we're going to talk about layers. <coughs> I would leave a gap at the top, so if I wanted to have anything about the surface I could do that. And then I'll write down one, zero, eight. Why? The top height. Yeah, yeah the, the surface. surface. And this is two centimetres. I'll leave a gap and I'll write one, zero, six. So now I have this space across here to write the information that pertains to the layer from 108 to 106. And then I'll look at the next layer down. And it goes from 106 to 83. I'll leave a gap and I'll write 83. So the top of one layer 
is at the bottom of the one above it. <coughs> so I went from 83 down to 61. Leave a gap. Right, 61. And then I went on down to the bottom of the profile. So I went down to zero. As one hit. Now, this is what I found on the sidewall. It's possible that when I do columns, I'm going to find something extra. And uh, if I do, like a, a very fast tear in the columns, it will be written in under comment and re reference to where it went. So this allows us to start looking now at the other information it's got here. And uh, they couldn't possibly make it easy by writing in what the top of these columns mean. So I'll tell you, and you can write it in your book. R is for resistance or hardness. So the test that I did with my gloves on, where I said this was... Let's get a, a reading on that top crust. That's pretty soft. So I'll go with one finger on that. So this 108 to 106 would be one finger. Yeah, how do you imitate that? The one F? One. Yeah, one with a little F. I'll pass this around in a moment, so don't worry too much about filling it in until you see it. And the one below it, the big one, is four finger. I'm finding that it's four finger in the upper part of that, and then there's a density change just in the lower part. But I'll put it down as four finger. Four F. So the layers are starting to appear now. Why 